Minister, the incoming Trump administration doesn't seem to care that uh, BC may be playing by the rules in the lumber deal. What uh, a very protectionist regime it appears it's going to be. What, uh, what's, uh, what's on the plan? What are you planning so far to counter that? Well, uh, glad you asked the question because I'm, I'm worried. And, uh, you know, I'll, I won't speculate as to uh, what the, uh, the new uh, government uh, and soon to be President uh, Trump will, will act upon. The rhetoric has certainly been protectionist. And we know this for a fact. There are protectionists in the U.S. Um, who have repeatedly sought uh, to uh, deny uh, American consumers access to uh, the best forest products uh, in a world that we produce more efficiently than anyone else. They don't like the competition. And uh, we're seeing that again. Uh, we attach uh, great importance uh, to this. Uh, forestry uh, remains uh, a cornerstone of our BC economy, employment-wise. Countless communities rely uh, upon our forest sector. Those communities and uh, the forestry sector have done a great job uh, improving productivity. They've done a great job diversifying uh, their markets. So we're not as vulnerable as we might have been 15 years ago the last time we saw this movie. Uh, but uh, the forces of protectionism, if allowed uh, or encouraged to uh, uh, proceed uh, down that path, uh, will cause us, uh, cause us problems. And it's, it's why the Premier Clark uh, and the government continue to work closely with uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. We've indicated that as, a, uh, as a, uh, a trade issue, this should be number one uh, in terms of uh, priorities. And it should be uh, at the top of the list uh, when Prime Minister Trudeau and uh, soon-to-be President Trump uh, sit down for their uh, inevitable first uh, discussion and, and conversation, and in our view, it warrants not just for British Columbia, but we are the largest. Uh, we account for 50% of the trade, um, and uh, uh, it has great implications for this country. And the last thing I'll say, because uh, you uh, you gave me the uh, uh, the opportunity to say it, we tend to talk about the advantages of free trade exclusively from the perspective of Canada, and in our case, British Columbia. But there are upwards of 20 or 25 million Americans, Americans, who rely upon trade with Canada for their jobs. And it's probably time someone started talking uh, on their behalf. And someone started pointing out the, the price that they will pay, that small town America will pay, if uh, barriers are uh, erected at our border. Uh, and the price that American consumers will pay, people that want to buy their own home, uh, when the price of those homes goes up because of uh, uh, tariffs and barriers that uh, might be uh, put in place. Hope it doesn't happen, and uh, as you can tell, it's, uh, it's uh, certainly a, a priority for us.